That's the last time this motor's gonna run, at least in this car. It's time to finally start taking it apart. First things first, disconnect the lights, the electrics at the front. Uh, that way we can get in underneath and uh, undo the bumper. Lots of pots to put things in so they don't go missing. First piece out onto the storage shelves. Some of these do not want to come off. I don't think they've ever been off, more than likely. Maybe some grinding required. You can, of course, actually disconnect the uh, fog lights from the top through there. But you do need to take these rather rusty screws off if you want to withdraw the bumper, because they screw it to the wheel arch liners. So anyway, a little bit of persuading, minor damage to the uh, underbody trim. Those are out. Nearly in the face. There's two bolts out. So now, oh, oh, get some tools out of the way. Smooth. With the bumper shocks off, it's time to start getting messy and drain the coolant. Joy. Better than ATF though. Blah. You probably can't see that, but it's very pink. Looks pretty fresh. I think this engine was pretty well cared for. Now I'm not very familiar with this engine. The one I've taken apart before, the silver one over here, is 1.9. This is obviously a two litre, straight six, not a four banger. So I don't really know <coughs> where everything is around here. But I do know I'm gonna take off this air box in order to get to the rest of the clamps for the cooling system so I can take this radiator out uh, which ideally comes out before this front cross member here, which I'll need to drill the spot welds out to remove. So let's get this out, then the radiator, disconnect the power steering pump, cooling loop, and then hopefully we can take this piece off today. that later.
further evidence if it were needed that this is a very well cared for engine. That's a fairly fresh and very clean air filter. Someone looked after this and I'm hoping it'll go on to save another BMW or go into another project. If you're after a two litre six pot, give me a call. Right, I'm actually gonna go about this a different way um, because the fan shroud is retaining the radiator, it can't come out past the fan. I could take the fan off, but there's really no point because I'm taking this out anyway. Just little note, these little clips here, if you get stuck trying to take one of these out of a BMW, shove a screwdriver in the top where the hole is, shove a screwdriver down and it will release the little clips and it pops open. So the radiator is now entirely loose apart from the fan shroud. We just need to disconnect the cooling loop for the power steering lines and then we can take out this front valance, whatever you want to call it, albeit with the use of a drill. So I've just been using the lamp, hunting around for the spot welds on here that were on my other car. Couldn't find them. Because they're not there. Disconnect the wiring. Try not to snap the clips. Sometimes impossible. Okay, always impossible. Very brittle after however many years. should just be down to but I always forget which is the bonnet release There we go, one front balance. And One good radiator. Now I won't be reusing this, it's a bit too big for what I need. Um, so, another part for sale. So, that's pretty good progress for today, quite happy with that. 
off camera I've taken a few more bits off. I'll just walk you through those and it's time to wrap up for the day. This is the engine bay as it stands now. I've done a few more bits. I've disconnected a couple of earths like here and the same on this side so that we could remove the wiring. I've tucked that out of the way. Over here for now, I'll bag that up all neatly. And at some point, I'm gonna strip all that nasty black wiring off, put some cloth tape on, just for the bits that I need, alongside all my EV bits. Um, I've taken out a couple more ancillaries. The uh, fluid reservoir, cool reservoir, which actually, I'll show you, I'm going to reuse because that's really useful. It's good size, neat clip-on fittings. I can reuse that in the EV. Um, so I'll need a cooling reservoir for the inverter and charger and DC to DC converter. So that's cool. That can go back in. I'll be cutting those brackets off, and that actually leaves lots of the original bits. So uh, on my original one, the washer bottle, instead of being over here is tucked up the front down here, which is a bit messy, much prefer it up there. Um, I've got your ABS pump down there. I don't know if you can see that in the dark. Tucked down there. So all these original bits are nicely tucked over here now or up in that corner. So all the new stuff uh, gets the middle. Uh, I've taken the auxiliary air pump off over here. Um, this bracket probably will come off, just for neatness sake, tidy things up a little bit. And uh, what else have I taken off? I've taken off the air intake, uh, so we can now see alternator and down there. Um, need to actually label up these cables in case I want to reuse any of the old loom. Obviously math sensor there, um, air pump power. There is actually a dedicated relay for that, um, which is fairly chunky. Uh, that could be useful for uh, cooling, something like that, cooling pump. Um, certainly if I'm going to use the uh, big Pierberg pump. That I'm planning to install over there, albeit the cooling requirements for this may not be quite so significant. And uh, yeah, so next time, uh, once this is fully drained of coolant, or at least I hope it's fully drained of coolant, uh, disconnect the power steering, get that out of the way, um, go around the engine, start taking off any other ancillaries that make sense to come off, like power steering pump, like the alternator. Disconnect the exhaust. I'll probably have to jack the car up a bit higher in order to get in there and do that comfortably. Uh, and maybe even disconnect the gearbox as well at the back. I think my plan is to pull uh, engine and gearbox out as one. Obviously, got lifting eye here. Um, I'm hoping there's something similar at the back. Um, I've not got these covers off yet. These very, very clean covers. This engine, 100,000 miles ish, seems to be in really, really good shape, at least cosmetically. Um, so, yeah, so next time, strip a load more stuff off disconnect the exhaust, maybe disconnect the gearbox as well. And uh, yeah, get ready to lift it out. So that'll do for today. Uh, very pleased with that progress. I'm glad that the front balance came off without drilling. That's made things a bit quicker and easier. Um, plenty more to do. I'm not gonna get back under there for about a week now. Uh, gotta do some real work and make some money and spend some time with the family. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. And starting to look like an EV conversion. Uh, if you do enjoy this, want to see the rest of this progress, uh, plus a load more stuff back at home, I'll be starting to make the adapter plate for the old car, for the new motor for the old car, if that makes sense soon. Um, and starting to get ready to fit that, maybe this weekend, we shall see. Uh, then please do like and subscribe. Um, I'll place a subscribe link up here and a playlist link down here for one or other playlist, so you can get up to date with either the original car or for this one. Thanks for watching.